bad idea. He is now pissed that could be very good for us. Could be very good for us. All right, we are back to Lisa, the oh so painful RPG that apparently drove me straight into a bar to drink my suffering away, which we haven't really experienced too much of just yet, but I've read based on the comments from the last video that things only get worse from this point onwards. So you know what? I say bring it. But more importantly, we're back here because um, you guys pointed out, Falcon, you missed an area, and you're right. I did miss an area. I was going to check this area out, but then we ran into that big, giant, green mutant punk dude. And it kind of threw everything um, off kilter for me. So this is the area that we passed up on earlier. And if we have a lot of ropes going over here. We have a man. Nipples are indeed still visible partially. This guy at least only has partial of one nipple showing. Gazing off into sunrise, sunset, who knows. Before we speak to him, let's see if there's anything I can steal from him. No, okay. You know, it's an RPG. That's the first thing you do. Before I speak to you, I must shake you down and take away these sort of possessions you might have that I can inquire for myself. Hello, my friend. I said, oh, I, oh, well, see, you see, I, I've been conditioned that I can't walk past these things most of the time. Hello, my friend. You're going to speak to me, huh? Oh, this seems very important. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olight and what happened. Many tales. Would you like to hear? If you could actually give me some background lore about this world, I would love to hear that. Yes, I totally care and boring both of them. I mean, this one sounds very condescending and this one's obviously very straight out rude. I, I, I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh, well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. All right, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet... Sweet, not, not sweet. I mean, for all we know, it's part of his accent. Sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife. Or sweet. God rest her soul. Oh, wait. Maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea. Then transfer the contents into a glass. I feel like I should have given this guy like a Jerry Seinfeld, Larry David type of voice, though, considering his tangent is going on. Why would you buy the lemon tea in a glass bottle? Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe, so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would just be as time-consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save the story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course, <laughs> when suddenly, a gray stranger feels my body. Something goes wrong. I've lived many years, and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yup. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. What does this have to do with the freaking catastrophe that happened in this world? He's talking about going into his jammies now and brushing his teeth. Okay, hold on. This is going on far enough. Climbing into bed when you notice the wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair. Body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Oh, he putting in a good 40 minutes a week. Oh, this guy must be an Adonis. He literally didn't tell me anything about the event. Ha! Got he! I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. I, I, I actually do want to leave. If you really want to hear... No, 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 no more stories. Once upon... Oh, no. Where, where, is, this, where is this one going? Once upon... A hot summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local girl, oh god. But wait! There's more! His son of a bitch neighbors apparently brought salad with whipped cream. I, I don't know. I don't know. No, he's, no, no, no more! No more from you! No, no more! I don't want to hear it. You, you lied to me, you are a deceiver and a scoundrel. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even a night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes day last, days last ages, and nights come rarely. And these clouds so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Now, oh, well, 
enough of that boring. No, that's not the boring stuff. That's actually the intriguing stuff. He has joined the squad. This Nern Guan. This Nern Guan who is still a deceiver and a scoundrel for not telling me about the apocalypse. I learned nothing from that. Apparently there was a big flash one day and... He spoke for like half an hour just to tell me there was a big flash. Alright, so we should be cutting back in roughly around where we left off last time. Took down a couple of raiders. We are indeed like in... Rando territory though, that's for sure. Alright, well I guess we'll start off from here and just work ourselves back to all the stuff. Uh, turn back. It's uh... And exactly what you want to see when you walk into a very dark area. Okay. Well, I'm gonna not turn back and go forward, even though that one over there says kill you. And luckily enough, there's also an inn here. I'm not sure if it's really the safest place to be sleeping at, but, um... I'm hearing, like, somebody dying in pain in the background. We are the schoolboy shufflers. Mess with us and you get the slip, pal. And I ain't talking about detention. Oh, <laughs> you know what? You don't get to slip anything into me. Now, what, I, what, what are you doing, Cur Mouse Cursor? Get out of here. You ruined the joke. I was going to say not without buying me dinner first, at least. But it, the Mouse Cursor keeps distracting me. Well, am I as surprised you even found us in here? You must be really awesome at adventuring and stuff. Um, tell you what. Randall Zombie has set up camp here to find that girl. They've cut off our links to the outside. If you can clear out all of the random guys in this area, I'll let you pass. Beyond this point is the only generator within miles. It's loaded with gasoline, and you look like the kind of guy that sniffs gas. So this is right up your alley. How about it? I mean, you are rather mean to assume. I mean, what do you know about me and sniffing gas? That was a time in my life I'd rather not talk about. Rock and roll. I think there's uh, four guys roaming in caves around here. Come back when they're all dead. Are you one of the boys? You must be one of the boys. Which boy are you? You are Day Spa Henning. Well, that sounds fairly comforting now, doesn't it? A Day Spa? Alright. Oh yeah, by the way. Um, I also do have new skills. How about we check this out? Machine Gun Fizz. Wawa. I could do Wawa. Sure I could do Wawa. What is this one? D-W-W-A. Uh... You know what? Wawa sounds a lot more easier for me to remember. We'll try Wawa. Um, you for now just attack. We'll use Nern and you guy as well. What, what do you do, by the way? Discuss techniques. Tell your friends some of your favorite techniques increases TP of one ally. No power so far. Alright, for now just keep shooting. And my boy, what about you? Do you have a Wawa as well? You have a Saw D. I could do Saw D, sure. Saw D, tackle rush. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's falling too. And I had to figure a guess, it means he probably can't act this turn at the very least. And Wawa, right? Oh my god, look at this damage! He's still alive! Good, good shot, Nern. Appreciate it. That's another guy over here. Rocking out to this boombox. Hello, my friend. I love this song. Reminds me of my youth. This is a perfect moment. I hope nobody ever comes and ruins it all. <laughs> Famous last words. Because I'm here with the Wawa today, my friend. And Lucha, you're gonna just give him the song to go. Just like I, he just stomped Terry. You know what? Give him the tackle rush. Make his ass fly. I mean, it's too late for that. He already took a turn anyway, so... Yeah, you, you show him, Terry. You stumble upon this man. So this place is like a freaking maze to traverse, especially everything all dark and just seeing the ledges. There's a boy down there, too. I'm not sure if that's one of the guys that we have to get to. The problem is, how do we get to him? Um... I think we could probably drop down there by taking damage, but, uh, can we get... Okay. Look, you see this? Everything's, like, all hidden. Alright, my friend. This will be number three, right? My name is Treats Niti. I am a treasure hunter. Rumor has it that this cave has some sick loot hidden in it, but I just can't find it. Oh, you're not a guy that I have to kill. Well, lucky for you. Two hours later. Alright, so I've been looking and looking and I finally found some hollow- Wait, hold up, I don't think- <laughs> Let me step out here. Here I am. Uh, I've been looking and looking, I found some hollow area here, which I'm not- f I'm clicking around to see if I could like- Oh! Oh, you... Scumbag. I've been smashing on action, seeing if we could find something in the dark. When, in reality, there was a rope! A hidden rope! You found some firebombs, sweet, alright. No, alright, there's a guy there. He looks like he's ready to attack us, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he rushed at us with a bat. 
He was looking to ambush us, is what he was. Who are you? Skip Dreamer? Yeah, apparently he's looking to send me to La La Land forever with that baseball bat. Oh, no, I'm with Draws with Brad. That's no good, right? Rage, you're gonna have to carry us, boy, with your... Good evasion. With your saw D. Give him the old saw D. Please don't mess with my corpse, so you know. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do with your body after I'm done killing it. I saw what you did over there to the boys, and I don't want none of that. I'll tell you something good if you just leave me alone. Mmm, fine. Hairspray is very flammable. What? That's good advice. People with a lot of product in their hair are flammable. Can I still kill you? We had a deal! Oh, yes we can, All right. Thanks for the advice, but I'm a scumbag. Oh, he's already dead. I never wanted this. <laughs> he's not wrong, he... He did try to make a, a deal with us, Darren. I reneged on that deal. Alright, so that should be four. Use a gas generator to make firebomb? Yes. Yeah. How many can I do? Do all of them. Alright, so we're done with that area too for the most part. So that's been clear. This only had an item. That's the first area where we got Nern and Mutant things. So I guess the last thing we gotta do is go through this small little hole. Which I have peeked into before and I saw... A bunch of red. Alright, so I think this is the next part of our journey. It says to turn back as well. Strong men only. Well, you know, luckily for you, I'm the right individual for this job. Ow! Excuse me? 350! Yo, I saw a shadow here, right? The hell is this? Man laying in grass. I mean, that he is. You can't deny that. Alright. I'm not sure what this man has done to me other than just laying in the grass, but I guess we... ...shall still make him disappear from this earthly realm. Good. Oh, he's dead already. What did I do wrong? You you honestly didn't do anything wrong. You were just lying in the grass hanging out. I mean, why you want to hang out here with the dangerous area with the freaking snakes? I'm not really sure, but hey. Uh, fireplace, huh? I... don't believe we need it, and I'm also worried that something bad might happen. Yeah, I feel like we're fine. I, I don't want to risk it with these fireplaces. Unless it's like a... Is, is that Big Boss? Unless there's like, you know, like a dude or like an inn that seems reliable, I don't want to try it. I don't want to test my luck out. That's one of those mutants again. With a Big Boss. Look at its smile. Disgusting. I've watched this beast kill dozens. Yet at this moment, I can just sit here and stare into its eyes. And it just stares back, smiling. But you want to kill it, don't you? You'll need something explosive. Firebombs, perhaps. And some good men. And then you may stand a chance. Let's try it. Who are you? Charming. We could also toss the firebomb, so let's let's try without the firebombs first, and if, um... We gotta do them, then we gotta do them. Bad idea. He is now pissed. That could be very good for us. Could be very good for us. Um, this man just killed, um, Brad with one hit. Just, just, w <laughs> just, just one hit. Took away my, my biggest damage dealer. I think we could revive, though, with the perfume. I'm gonna hold off on that right now. I'm just gonna toss a firebomb, though, and see what happens with that one. And then we'll go solid D. Unfortunately, we didn't get the crits up thing with Terry before. You know... <laughs> I think that because of the piss thing, even if you got we're not going to survive, so you might as well just freaking go all out. The problem is now I've lost every big major damage dealer. That's the, the very big issue that we're having here. I mean, I don't, I don't want to use all these, but... He's glaring at us now. Charmy's crying. He's dead. Oh boy. Okay. We missed on an experience, it's not the end of the world, though it's, I mean, <laughs> technically for them it is, but you, you know what I'm saying. He's dead, big boss. Hmm, poor thing. Oh, now it's a poor thing? You found a child's bicycle! 
access it from your key items. Dismount the bike by using the shift. The shift. Well, I mean, we gotta find a place to go heal up, so that's gonna be first in my priority list here and get my dudes alive. Um, we can't drop down this way. Ooh. <laughs> All right, your boy's on a bike. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here for this one. I think we did a lot. We got Nern, we killed a giant freaking mutant that almost destroyed my party. And we got a bike now, which should open up a lot of areas since we could do a little bit of a hop now, right? So, we now gotta go back, look for new areas to access that we couldn't do so before. So let me know in the comments if you're still enjoying this and want to see the entire thing. I'm leaning towards yes, but there's gotta be enough interest for one, to do an entire series or something. And number two, YouTube seems to be auto-flagging this, like, through the entire YouTube algorithm. Like, it's fully aware I'm playing least of the RPG, so the YouTube algorithm knows what the game is all about, all the things that it touches on, so I've noticed certain thing in my ana analytics, I guess, without getting into big brain territory, of how it's treating this series, or at least these videos in particular. But um, if there's enough interest, I'll just kind of push through it. So let me know. I'll catch you guys next time.